started at five to eight, she was in tears, totally in tears, because she had a very, very hard um, teacher, a very college level English teacher, who demanded that everything was typed and it was MLA, M and in MLA format. And so when she realized it was time to go to class, she knew she hadn't finished everything. Um, she sometimes would stay or sometimes she'd leave. It didn't matter. She would get to class and she would be raked over the coals because she didn't have it done or she didn't have it in MLA format. Um, so um, after many, many mornings of these drippy faces, um, I said, I talked to her and I said, what can I do for you? How can we change this? And um, she said she didn't know. Her teacher had demanded, got mad at her if she didn't have it, got mad at her if she was late. And so um, I sent an email to her teacher and copied the principal and said um, that this was happening. Is there any way that she could turn in her assignment after nutrition? And um, I never really heard about it. I heard back from the teacher. I know her well. But the child did that from then on. And then at the end of the year, she made a video for me. I told her I wanted to make a video. It's on the CSLA website uh, up in the right corner. And she tells about, um, she wrote her essay in, in her phone. She wrote all of her essays in her phone because she didn't have a computer at home. And then she would rush into the school and download it, take all the guck out, and then put it in MLA format. And it took a long time. And she had to make sure it was perfect for this teacher uh, because it was a very hard class that she had begged to be put in into. And um, so it's very touching. Uh, it ended up in, a, in an article. And when I was back in uh, Washington, D.C. in June for the ALA conference, um, the article was written by an Associated Press reporter and um, ALA had it on the press, in the press room in stacks mm -hmm. for everybody to get and it was really pretty exciting and so everybody get to see the, the video also. So um, that was, we know what the students need. We know all these things and if we dig a little bit more we can get more of these stories out. Um, but they're really powerful stories, and we need to really share them. The reason this story came out was because there was this uh, man in the uh, library, and he was way up on cloud nine, and he was saying, wow, this library is great, and, and it's really exciting, and um, isn't it nice that the kids have the internet, and they can do all this stuff? And I said, you know, wait a minute, and I told him about this young girl, and I told him, like, I had to repeat it like maybe three or four, maybe six times. And when he finally understood, he, he kind of laughed quite. She read it on her phone. And then he, when he finally understood the impact of what I was saying, he nearly fell over, literally almost fell over. Because people don't know that students are struggling like this. And besides, the, was struggling with the language. This young girl is, was her second language. Um, they have no idea what we go through. I don't know about you, but um, when they bring in their reports on their little phone things, or um, they send them and they can't get access to their email because it's free. Um, so these are stories we need to get out. We need to share with each other and get out to the public.